Hello everyone, this is Cindy P. Flipping Cleveland. As you can see, I'm at Home Depot and I'm fighting a cold. We were supposed to end the project on Thursday and put the house on the market. So I had to push that deadline back. So now I am on for Monday, the 30th, I believe it is. So um, we're gonna do um, a final walkthrough tomorrow, which is Sunday, and make sure everything is okay. And then from that point on, we are going to um, do another final walkthrough on Monday, make sure everything is clean and tidy and ready for um, any potential buyers. And then I'm gonna consider when I'm gonna do an open house. I also want the house staged. So I gotta see how my money is looking. Of course, everything is about the numbers. So when you do a house flip, one of the things that can tend to take your budget over also is toward the end, when you stop being so budget conscious and you start being time conscious, you might have the feeling, oh, I'm just gonna go ahead and pay for it. I'm just gonna go ahead and pay for it. Well, that can have its pluses and minuses because of course time is money as well. So you don't want a property sitting if it doesn't have to. And if you need to get things done expeditiously, then you can go ahead and do that. But also you can tend to go over budget with little things here and there because just like when you're at the dollar store and you think, oh, I'm just gonna bet, got a couple things for a dollar. They're only a dollar and you get to the register and you spend $76 plus tax because you bought 76 items at a dollar. <laughs> You can do the same thing with your flip. So you have to be cognizant of that, uh, make that um, a priority when you get to the end of your project, when you're starting to do those little things that you make sure that you're not going over budget. Anyway, that's my little tip for today. You guys have a good day and take care, thanks.